All right, here we are back out working on the uh, motorized bicycle again, the four-stroke swap. And in the last video, you saw me uh, bend up this uh, clutch and clutch to chain jack shaft cover uh, that I'm going to mount to the side of the engine. And so what I'm going to do today is come in here and trim up some of this area and then uh, weld up this little cover. So, of course, I got the grinder and a cutoff disc. And so I'll get to work on that and we'll get it, uh, we'll get it welded up and uh, test fit it on the engine. Right, there we go. Did a very simple little lap joint. Uh, cut off some of the extra and like I said, yeah, just did a little bit of a lap joint. Got a full weld on the outside there and just one little stitch kind of on the inside there. This thing's still real hot. So now what I gotta do is I cut this wider than it needs to be. Uh, I would need to come in and trim off uh, what I need to, but uh, I'm actually not gonna mess with that right now because what I really need to focus on is uh, how I'm gonna get it mounted down there to the uh, engine plate or the uh, engine bracket. So we'll let this thing cool off. I may go throw it under the hose a little bit, cool it off quicker, and uh, then we'll figure out how we're gonna mount it to that bracket. All right, so here's our bracket, or I'm sorry, our, our shroud for our clutch and chain. And it's gonna mount on there something like that. And I think what I'm gonna do for mounting is I'm gonna bend up some, some more of this 16 gauge. I'll cut a little strip about two inches wide, bend it halfway so it'll weld to uh, the shroud and then bend up 90 degrees. And what I'll do is I'll drill a hole and I've got what are called uh, riv nuts or some people call them uh, threaded inserts. Um, other names, um, nut zerts. Uh, basically what they are is you put them in w what's similar to a pop rivet gun, but it's a threaded insert. So you drill a hole, you put it in there, you squeeze down on it, it clamps between your metal, and then you have a threaded insert there that you can run a bolt through. So I think that's what I'm gonna use. And like I said, I'll just come in here, make four tabs, one in this area, one down in here, one kind of under here, and another one back here, and uh, use those uh, threaded inserts uh, to mount this uh, change, uh, excuse me, chain shroud to the engine bracket. So I'll uh, go get some metal and we'll uh, cut some little arms for this. All right, here's our four little tabs, and uh, you can see the lines on there. Uh, that mark is a three-quarter inch mark, so it's three quarters from this side to the line. So now all we got to go do is uh, bend these over 90 degrees, and we'll be ready to start fitting our uh, our little bracket, uh, little shroud to the engine bracket. So in other videos, you saw me using uh, my uh, sheet metal brake there to bend uh, like the engine plate and the gussets and some other things like that. But I'm not going to use it for this little project. I'm just going to use my bench vise and a hammer and just bend these, just clamp them down, hammer them over, we got 90 degrees. Alright, so I got a close up view of the jaws of the vise. You can see here's my little tab and there's my line that I need to bend on. So all I'm going to do is put it in here, match the line with that top jaw, try and get it as straight as possible. So we got that, and then we just come in here with our hammer. Oops, let me pan out. Come in here with our hammer and bend it over. There you go. About 90 degrees. Looks like it's a little bit over, but it, good enough for what we're doing. So now I just gotta do it to the other three. All right, right there you're looking at a close-up view of the clutch. And I'm coming from this angle to show you something. Basically what we're gonna do, here's our uh, chain shroud. And it butts up against these mounting bolts that hold the bracket to the engine. So what we need to know is how much space we need to account in this area uh, to weld our little tabs to the uh, engine shroud. And it's looking like a quarter inch is pre 
quarter inch would be pressed up against the bolts. So we'll come out and we'll probably weld those at three eighths of an inch uh, stick out so that we got some clearance there. So I'll just get the little tabs and we'll uh, start mounting those in place. All right, so I'm coming in here and I'm just tack welding these little brackets on one at a time. Uh, it's kind of hard to get clamps in there with the chain um, and the sprocket and the clutch. There's just not enough room, so I'm having to hold them by hand and then come in and uh, clamp them down with uh, some welding clamps and then tack weld them. So for now, I'm just tack welding them to make sure that uh, everything lines up as it should. All right, here you can see I got all four tabs uh, tack welded uh, to the uh, chain shroud. So now we'll test fit it on the engine. All right, let's test fit this shroud to the uh, engine plate. Oh yeah, that looks real good. So let me just put a clamp in place here. There, now it's held in place. And you can see how the whole thing works. I'll get up here a little bit closer. And you can see there's one tab. There's the other tab with the clamp on it. And then you can see the two lower tabs like that. They're not, they'll press up against like that. But now, uh, well I guess now I'm gonna come out here and I'll fully weld all those tabs to the uh, shroud. And then I'll come back in here, uh, clamp everything in place, and get ready to uh, drill holes in the tabs, and then uh, holes also into the uh, engine bracket. All right, here you can see I got all four tabs fully welded uh, to the shroud, and just came in here. Everything's done on the inside, so it's nice and clean. Doesn't leave any uh, uh, just some heat index here on the outside that I can grind off real easily. But, as you can see, all four are fully done. So, now we just gotta come up here and uh, drill some holes. Drill some holes in these tabs. And then clamp it to the uh, engine bracket. And drill holes in that too for the, uh, for the threaded inserts.